Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and today we're going to talk about um, one of the uh, important things that you need to remember when you are trying when you want to either migrate to an English uh, speaking country or you want to uh, pursue your studies especially higher education in an English speaking country meaning uh, ang ibig sabihin nun, ang first language ng country nila is English. And in our case, as Filipinos, of course, English is not our first language, but it is considered the second language. But let me talk about later, or perhaps in part 2 of this video, why um, we we are so much into the English language. We, we know how to speak the language. We have a, a very vast exposure to the English language and let's talk about that later but now let's talk about IELTS one of the exams that we are encouraged or we are required to take for us to prove that we know how to use the language how to speak and how to basically uh, perhaps survive in in a country where English is the first language so let's talk about IELTS let's go Okay, IELTS stands for the International English Language Testing System or the IELTS or sometimes you call it IELTS. Um, it is designed to help us get work or simply migrate or for those who, who want to uh, study, you know, for those who want to study in a country where English is their native language. Okay. Um, practically, uh, these countries include Australia, New Zealand, um, the UK, of course, and uh, Canada, and did I say Canada already? <laughs> and the United States of America. Okay. <clears throat> so IELTS will test our four uh, the, the four macro skills uh, that includes reading, speaking, listening, and reading speaking listening and writing yeah okay so as an english teacher of course we are we we are dealing with all of the four macro skills let's focus on what is being tested in ielts okay now um ielts there are two types of exams in in ielts okay one is the general uh, general uh, training and the other one is the IELTS Academic. So let's talk about the difference between the two, okay? At doon ka na mamimili kung anong kukunin mo kasi uh, number one, ma medyo mahal tong IELTS exams, no? And then, of course, later on, malalaman natin may expiry date pala ang, ang resulta, no? Tignan natin kung ano ang swak sa requirement mo, okay? Let's talk about the two types of IELTS um, exams that you might need for your specific purpose. I mentioned a while ago that there is this IELTS general training. This IELTS general training test is suitable for those who are applying to study, study, pero on a lower level, meaning non-degree. Well, siguro, continue your high school or non-degree uh, courses. But more importantly, IELTS general training is suitable for those who would like to migrate or secure employment in that in those countries again countries that are where english is their fair first language or their native language again i have enumerated some of them a while ago right so it is it says here um the language the skills that we are looking for when you are tested for the general training is that the the need for you to survive <laughs> in a social and workplace environment of course using the language uh, and reading reading signs talking asking for directions perhaps reading emails you know uh, conversing with a stranger or, or or to your future bosses okay so again ielts general training is for those who would, who would like to migrate who would like to work or who would like to study but on a non-degree or degree low uh, lower level degree um, courses okay so second is the IELTS academic 
as the name suggests, of course, this is for future students. Um, again, who would want to study in English speaking environment or a university. You typically higher education. Um, uh, ito yung mga nag gusto mag mag aral ng uh, higher ha college, no? Uh, would like to go into universities and take your bachelor's degree or some of sometimes our postgraduate, which is a master's and um, doctoral degrees, right? Okay. So, again, uh, sometimes um, IELTS is a requirement for your registration purposes as early as that. Okay? As early as that, uh, they already require it. And, um, yeah, so again, IELTS Academic is for those who would like to pursue um, university studies, bachelor's, master's, and postgraduate studies. This is very uh, useful because... Um, it will give you uh, your one of the, your requirements for admission. So, and again, it's for English speaking environment or countries. Okay. So there you have it. So we have two types, IELTS general training and IELTS academic. So uh, when you register, make sure that you know what you need and, and um, specifically because again, this is not a, a uh, a cheap, um, a cheap, um, you know, exams. Uh, later, siguro tingin natin yung mga mga approximate prices, no? In 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 peso, in dollar, and perhaps even in in rupiah, because uh, you know where I am currently now. Okay, so once again, IELTS is a language testing exam, specifically in the English language, to prove your your capability, your your capability and, and proficiency in the reading, writing, speaking, and listening of using the English language. Let's talk about the individual components later. We'll, we'll talk about the speaking test. We'll talk about the listening, um, writing, and reading test in the next video. Okay? So, I'll see you again. Thank you very much. I'll see you. Maraming salamat. Dakal po salamat. Bye.